Giuliani's business associate, Lev Parnas, has been speaking out more and more about what he knows about Donald Trump, his involvement with Ukraine, his demands for investigations into Ukraine, and now how Devin Nunes worked with him in order to do an investigation into Robert Mueller and his investigation into Russian involvement in the Trump administration. The story is out of control, it's insane. Remember, Lev Parnas, along with Igor, Igor Fruman, two of Giuliani's business associates, are now facing serious federal charges for breaking campaign finance laws, funneling foreign money to Trump's campaign. And here's what we know based on what Parnas is now saying through his lawyer. Um, he's saying that uh, Nunez worked with him uh, in order to go to Europe and do an investigation into uh, Robert Mueller's probe into Russia. And congressional records show Nunez traveled to Europe from November 30th to December 3rd, 2018. Three of his aides, Derek Harvey, Scott Glabe, and George Pappas, traveled with him. US government funds paid for the group's four day trip, which cost just over $63,000. Why is it, first of all, I know that's a small amount of money in the grand scheme of things, but why are US taxpayers paying for this nonsense investigation into the investigation, which was obviously politically motivated. So when congressional investigators began probing Russian interference in 2016 campaigns, Nunes made a late night visit to the White House and announced the next day he'd found evidence of egregious wrongdoing by intelligence community officials. So one of the things he claimed was that Obama had been spying in on the Trump campaign. Remember all of that, and then they provided no evidence of it. The move appeared to be an effort to corroborate a presidential tweet claiming that Obama wiretapped Trump Tower. Nunes then stepped back from the committee's work scrutinizing Russian efforts. Instead, he ran a parallel probe looking at the origins of Mueller's Russia probe. So this is a conflict of interest, isn't it? Yeah, he's involved in the story. So he worked with Lev Parnas, who's now arrested. So he's right in the middle of the story and he's the one that is leading this investigation for the Republicans. So he's questioning witnesses that are directly involved in a case he's involved in. But I mean, Republicans, I think, have forgotten what the word ethics even means or that it even exists. They're like, ethics, what name so? No, I don't care about that conflict of interest at all. I'm just gonna plow forward. And so what I was trying to determine from the story is, what's Nunes' story? Is he just like a, a guy who wanted to prove to, to daddy uh, how loyal he was? Oh, like, oh, Donald Trump, oh, I love you, I love you. Okay, and he goes and he leaks some of the information about investigations yeah. that goes to the White House, that what Anna read you. And then he goes on this like fun little European trip with uh, Giuliani's goons and who trying are criminals. to help. Yeah, who are trying to find this counter narrative for Trump that it, the Russians were innocent and it was actually other people who framed Donald Trump, etc. Okay, that. Or is he like Dana Rohrabacher? Now, Dana Rohrabacher was, they never, you know, proved it in a court of law, but both Republicans and Democrats in Washington suspected that he was the friendliest congressman to Russia. Now, he lost his election, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But there are such congressmen from time to time. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to figure out, is Nunes in on it? Right? Okay, so let me, let me just mention a few things that could connect everything. Remember, Lev Parnas, Giuliani's business associate, helped to spread a smear campaign to get rid of Marie Yovanovitch. And that was a US diplomat who was working to deal with corruption, actual corruption in Ukraine. She was trying to root out that corruption and hold people accountable if they were found guilty of corruption, right? Lev Parnas worked with the shady people in Ukraine to spread this you know, smear campaign about Yovanovitch to get her out. So Lev Parnas is also working with Devin Nunes to launch this investigation into the investigation, the Russia investigation. So since Parnas has already been charged with working for a foreign government and funneling money to Republican politicians here in America to influence them on behalf of a foreign country, the question is that did Nunes know that and he was part of the plot or is he just a schmuck? And I have an ironic um, acquittal of Nunes for the moment being with mm -hmm. the facts that we have. Well, I really think he is a schmuck. Okay, so look, 
I, I like to provide at least a little bit of evidence. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I will admit this evidence doesn't go far enough in proving my case. I don't think he's a schmuck. I think that his, his insane loyalist behavior makes no sense. He has been willing to defend Trump in ways that, that go above and beyond any other Republican. Remember, other Republicans have avoided uh, defending Donald Trump on substance. Whereas Devin Nunes is going as far as he possibly can. And yesterday, after Gordon Sondland delivered probably the most damaging testimony during the uh, impeachment hearings, uh, there was a notable change in Devin Nunes's uh, demeanor. And I wanna show that to you, take a oh, look. Oh, interesting. You understood, did you not, that President Trump, either himself or through his agents, required that President Zelensky make a public announcement of the two investigations that President Trump cared about in order to get both the White House meeting and to release the security assistance. I is believe, that correct? I believe that is correct. I now recognize uh, Mr. Nunes. Oh. Okay. Um, why don't we take a five or ten minute break? Thank you. <laughs> All right, further evidence. I, I just wanna make sure you guys get a very good look at what happened there. Take a look. Okay, um, why don't we take a five or 10 minute break? Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's fun. And he does appear to have the look of a man who's been caught. <laughs> okay, okay, now the counter evidence. Uh, he sued his own cow on Twitter. So, oh my God, but Jake, <laughs> I don't know if that's for, like if that's counter evidence. Like he he thinks that some satirical account on Twitter is like engaging in unlawful behavior, while he sits there and defends the clear criminality of the Trump administration. Yeah, that to me is evidence that this is not some sort of criminal mastermind. He really is one of the dumbest people you've ever met. So he's like, D -d 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 this, and I'm gonna give him the Trump voice. This cow of mine, it says Devin Nunes is cow, it's not true. I don't have a cow, and if I did have a cow, it wouldn't be on Twitter, right? He sued that person. I mean, he is really preposterously stupid. So I think that he got easily roped into this thing. There it is. Well, okay. And you say it didn't exist. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I think he got roped into this. He was like, oh yeah, I bet there is a counterplot. Oh yeah, you know, uh, oh the, the Russians didn't do it. I, was it Norway? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so, if anyone were to get roped into it, it'd be that schmuck. That's my theory. But we'll hopefully get more evidence and find out if he's part of the conspiracy or if he's just the dumbest guy in the world uh, that is unwittingly participating in it. Well, in the meantime, um, he should recuse himself. He, Definitely, there is a not huge a conflict of interest here. And then one final point to the story that's actually not related to Nunes, but I know that you're gonna appreciate it because it 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 proves your theory a little bit. Mm. So why is Lev Parnas speaking? Is it simply because he got caught funneling foreign money to Trump's campaign? No, uh, there's a different reason. Uh, according to his lawyer, President Trump's recent and regrettable disavowal of Mr. Parnas has caused him to rethink his involvement and the true reasons for his having been recruited to participate in the president's activities. Mr. Parnas is prepared to testify completely and accurately about his involvement in the president and Rudy Giuliani's quid pro quo demands of Ukraine. Drums. Okay, what did I tell you? He throws too many people under a bus. So he's like, oh, this Lev Parnas, I don't, I don't know about him. He looks like a sad peach, I heard that on the Young Turks. <laughs> One of their viewers said it, and was in fact a member. They do the show together, they say. Okay. <laughs> so Parnas sees that in general, he's like, oh, you're throwing me under the bus. All right, dude, <laughs> and then it's on. Yep. He's like, I'll tell, everybody, I'll tell them what I know, and then you're screwed. So Trump, not, now Trump is, what we we're just talking about Nunes, he's both. Right. He he is part of the conspiracy. He is the conspiracy to commit all these different crimes, but he's also so stupid he can't cover it up at all. Yeah. You know what? I, I think I mostly agree with you. Um, I think he was a little more aware than you're giving him credit for, but I do agree that he's incredibly stupid. So, Nunes. Nunes. Yeah. 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 So we're on the same page with that. Okay. See, are we not merciful? Thanks for watching the Young Turks. So really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, 
you got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.